Spooky. <laughs> Welcome back to Play and Trade Guitars. I'm John, that's Zach behind the camera, and this is Play and Trade Guitars, where of course we play it and trade it. We showed you the Epiphone Dave Mustaine Flying V Custom, and now we're moving over to Kramer with the release of the Kramer Dave Mustaine Vanguard Rust in Peace. That's a limited edition in Alien Tech Green, which looks really sharp. We'll get it out of the case, we'll put it on the bench and take it apart before we plug it in and play it. <laughs> And at the top, if you're in the market for any new gear like this guitar or anything else, click to buy using our link. It does support our channel. You also get access to fast free shipping and easy payment plans. So check out our link in the description when you're buying new gear. You can also sign up, links in the description, for our current giveaway. We're giving away a Gibson Les Paul Gold Top Deluxe Guitar. Awesome Les Paul. And also, we have a whole bunch of new ways to get maximum number of entries. All of that in the description. Sign up on Gleam and subscribe to our channel. Without further ado, let's get this new Kramer Dave Mustaine Vanguard out of the case and take a first look before we pull it apart. I can't wait. <laughs> that does look like a shredder. If ever there was a shredder, here's a first look at that Kramer Dave Mustaine Vanguard. It does come with a hard shell case, an enormous hard shell case, I will add, but it's a nice touch and a nice addition of value. At $12.99, it's actually $100 cheaper than the Epiphone counterpart, which is the Flying V Custom. This Vanguard is absolutely stunningly beautiful. This Alien Tech Green is a metallic green finish. You've got this black hardware, which looks awesome. Mini Grover tuners. You've got Dave Mustaine rocking on the back of Volute, which looks great. Medium C, and very important distinction, this is 25 and a half inch scale just like Fender scale, whereas the Epiphone is typical Gibson 24 and three quarters. This is 25 and a half inch scale, which I know a lot of Dave Mustaine fans are very excited about because that's what Dave would typically be playing. And uh, that's a big distinction, but other than that, you're gonna get a lot of the same features that you find on the Epiphone, and that's gonna be things like an ebony board with 24 frets, which looks amazing, and the Thrash Factor set of Dave Mustaine pickups from Seymour Duncan. Really, the Thrash Factor is in bridge, and then you have a 59 style Seymour Duncan in neck. Both of these sound fantastic. You'll hear that when we plug it in. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get the strings off this guitar. It's nice and light. And I also love the symmetrical V shape uh, design of the guitar itself. It really looks beautiful, simple controls. And uh, I'm excited about this one, so let's pull it apart. The Kramer headstock has got this really cool, look at this, you got the Megadeth like rust in peace font for Kramer, Dave Mustaine's signature on the truss rod cover. In terms of the tuners, you've got these mini Grovers, which look really cool. I will say the difference between the Epiphone is that there's no headstock binding like you find on the Epiphone. And another detail, all the hardware on the Kramer compared to the Epiphone is jet black, whereas you have a more metallic kind of chrome look on the Epiphone, which looks real fancy and pretty cool. Uh, the same artwork, you got the Volute here. Headstock uh, is the kind of typical Kramer headstock. 24 frets, jumbo frets. You've got a real ebony board, which is a nice touch, 24 frets, bound fretboard. And uh, I love this metallic green. This is that Alien Tech green. Uh, this, again, I'm gonna go ahead and peel this plastic off just because it's so satisfying. Uh, I got a whole bunch of splotches on here. That's as good as it's gonna get, I think. So I've got a Dave Mustaine Artist uh, signature profile neck. It's described as a medium C. Let's go ahead and get measurements. 1.67 inches at the nut, 0 0.79 inches at the first, 0 0.83 inches at the 12th. We've got a mahogany body, it's unbound. The Epiphone has a bound body, but this is just gonna be mahogany with that metallic finish comes in at 1.78 inches thick. This is really a premium feature, the fact that you have this Thrash Factor Dave Mustaine bridge pickup here. And then you've got this Seymour Duncan 59 PAF style humbucker in neck position. Uh, the pair of these, that's a premium set of pickups and they sound really fantastic. We'll get some readings flipping on the multimeter. We're at a hot 16.1 in bridge, 7.3 in neck. 5.0 combined. And then as for the controls, uh, bottom you have a master tone, and then you've got your dedicated volume for the bridge, which is just above the three-way toggle switch, and then you've got your dedicated volume for the neck, which is on top. All right, let's flip the Vanguard over and check out the electronics. CTS 500K pots, hand-wired, everything looks pretty clean under here. Feels pretty light, let's see where this V-shape weighs in. 
Uh, just over seven pounds, we'll call it uh, 7.2 pounds. All right, flipping the Kramer around for an initial reaction. Now, I love Fender guitars and having the Fender scale length. It's a little more comfortable in terms of giving you a little more room, because I mean, it is a longer guitar, right? And that 25 and a half inch scale length, um, I like both Gibson and Fender scale length, but on the Kramer, uh, this is more kind of true to form with what Dave would play himself. Um, so I think that's a big selling point and one of the reasons many people have already pointed out that the feel of this Kramer is going to be much more in line with what you'd expect from a Dave Mustaine model. That said, there are some differences I'll point out cosmetically. Uh, this guitar is $100 less than the Epiphone version. However, you're not going to get things like the binding on the headstock, binding on the body. Uh, the hardware is not as kind of expensive, sexy looking as the black metal chrome on the Epiphone. But all in all, they're basically about the same guitar in terms of form and function, pickups, fretboard being ebony, which I love the feel of ebony. Good ring to this guitar. I always like the ring of a flying V. So remember, if you're in the market for this guitar or any other, check out our purchase link. When you buy, it does support our channel, so thank you. And it's time for the fun part. We're going to plug this guitar in. I'll show you cleans, dirties, and then let it scream behind a track. I'm excited to get this one fired up and juiced up. Let's do it.
right, the Kramer, Dave Mustaine Vanguard. I found this guitar super playable. I'm really impressed with the construction. Out of the box, the setup to me was perfect. I had no problem playing this neck. I thought that the actual medium C-shaped Dave Mustaine artist neck profile felt fantastic in my hands. Again, just like the Epiphone, I didn't notice the guitar. So as I was playing, it didn't get in my way and it let me do what I wanted to do. And it was a lot of fun. It's like, you know, driving a sports car or something. It's really fun to play this Dave Mustaine Vanguard. And uh, these pickups, I think are a knockout. I really like this Seymour Duncan set of Dave Mustaine Thresh Bucker pickups that they put in here. True ebony board, 24 frets. Uh, it lets you get all the way up there. No problem, obviously, with the Vanguard V shape. Construction's really good. This one's a little bit more plain Jane than the Epiphone, but it is $100 less. Um, so again, you won't get things like a bound headstock, bound body, um, but it's really great. Uh, Alien or Tech Alien Tech Green, which is a metallic finish that looks fantastic. It comes with the hard shell case at $12.99. And uh, let's talk final score. Since you stuck around, I give a final score to a guitar based on three main categories. That's overall playability, overall sound, and overall value. And starting with playability, this guitar just didn't give me any issues whatsoever. It was super playable. I love the feel of ebony. I like the actual neck carve itself. And a big, big point about this guitar over the Epiphone is that this is 25 and a half inch scale length where the Epiphone is standard kind of Gibson 24 and 3 quarters. This slightly longer neck, especially when you're playing in the highest register, you notice that extra bit of room that you have. So for playing fast and for accuracy, I actually felt that this guitar was more playable than the Epiphone for this style because of the longer scale length. Uh, moving on to the overall sound, I was just as impressed as I was with the Epiphone. It's got basically the same electronics, right? Same pickup, so really kind of a similar sound, but with a little bit more playability because of that longer scale length. Uh, moving to value, well, it's $100 cheaper. It comes with the hard shell case. Like I said, it's a little bit more no frills. It doesn't have quite as nice as hardware as the Epiphone and it has a few less co cosmetic appointments. Um, but it's mean looking and it's cool. And it's available in three colors. This is the limited edition Alien Tech Green, which is super cool. Uh, but overall value, I mean, I gave the Epiphone a really high score. And I would, I would have to say I still probably like the look of the Epiphone more personally. However, I like the scale length of this guitar. I would tell you as I get to value, based at $100 difference on the cosmetic differences, but most importantly the scale length differences, because you can notice when you're playing in the upper register that little bit of extra length coming from this guitar. That said, I'm going to give high marks across the board. I gave the Dave Mustaine Epiphone. I gave that an overall score of just over 9.0. Because this guitar is more playable, I'm gonna give it one tick higher, uh, and because it's $100 cheaper, I'm gonna give it one or two ticks higher. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a 9.1. So for both guitars, I was super impressed with what Kramer is doing and what Epiphone is doing, both obviously in the Gibson family of brands nowadays. Um, but the Dave Mustaine partnership, I don't doubt that he probably had a real role in designing these because I really think they knocked him out of the park. They feel fantastic, they look fantastic, Yes, they're more expensive than a typical guitar in this brand or price range. However, they really deliver and the guitars feel, play, and sound fantastic. 9.1 for the Kramer Dave Mustaine Vanguard. Love the guitar. If you're in the market, remember to click to buy using our link because it does support our channel directly. Check out one of these videos. Remember to be in it to win it with our Gibson Les Paul Deluxe Gold Top giveaway. Subscribe to our channel and check out the links in the description. We'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for hanging out. I'm John and this is Playing Trade Guitars. Thank you.